Hello everyone, welcome to Hacker Heat. In this video, we will solve the problem perfect squares. Before we start, please do like and subscribe to the channel Hacker Heat. Let's look into the problem. Given a positive integer n, find the least number of perfect square numbers. For example, 1, 4, 9, 16, which sums to n. In the given example 12, there are three perfect squares, 4, 4, 4, and in 13, it is 4 plus 9 because 4 is a perfect square and 9 is a perfect square. We need to return 2. In this case, it's 3. So let's look into how we do it. Let's say the given number is uh, 1. The perfect square is 1. If it is 2, again the perfect square is 2, which is 2 ones. If it is 3, it is 3 ones. And if it is 4, it is 4 ones. But when it comes to 5, it can be with 4 plus 1, it could be 4 plus 1. So the output would be 2, 3, 4, and 2 again here. So how do we do it? This is one of the classic uh, dynamic programming problems. So, so you, for the given number, we will take an array of n plus 1. Let's say the given number is 5, we will take an array of 6 elements. That is the classic DP solution for any given number or given matrix, you will take uh, the DP array, uh, either it be one dimensional or two dimensional with length plus one, five, six, right? So the maximum number that can be uh, resultant uh, to the final number is the square of this number, that would be the max. So we will have the max value as 25 in this case, and we will fill all these numbers with the integer max value. So now we will have two loops, the outer loop uh, starting from i is equal to 1 to i less than or equal to n and the inner loop j is equal to 1 to j less than or equal to max. If let's say i is equal to j star j, that means it's a perfect square. We will fill that with 1. dp of i should be 1, which means uh, here it's 1, it's 2, it's 3. And for 4, it would be 1 again, because when it comes to 5, all we are doing is we need to find out uh, how many perfect square can be added to 5. So we will do that. Uh, if i is greater than j star j, in this case, i, which would be 5, greater than j star j, let's say j is a 2, j star j, is 4 what we are doing is uh, we will get the minimum of uh, dp of 5 which is the integer max value at this point comma dp of i minus uh, 2 stat 2 4 4 plus 1 in this case it would be dp of 1 plus 1 which would be dp of 1 is 1 plus 1 which results in 2 so that's how we will solve this problem using dynamic programming. Let's go ahead and see how it looks in code. As I said, int max would be int of math dot square root of n. Now I will initialize the dp array and plus one and I will fill the dp array fill of dp comma integer dot max value. Now I'll go from 1 then or equal to n i plus plus for int j is equal to 1 j less than or equal to max j plus plus. If i is equal to j star j which means a perfect square, I would say dp of i is equal to 1. Else, if i greater than j star z, what I would be doing is uh, dp of i would be math dot min of dp of i. Remember, we had uh, integer max value initially as default uh, numbers so we will take this and dp of i minus j star minus j star j plus one 
all we need to do is return tp of n which is the last index let's go ahead and submit yes it went through but if you see the runtime is 91 milliseconds here so let's see if we can modify anything if you look closer in this area else if i less than j star z all i'm doing is break so yeah if you see this it came from 91 milliseconds to 34 milliseconds that's a huge huge difference uh, when it comes to like uh, it, let's say if the number is so big that would make a real difference so we need to optimize there so let's try to trace the problem what program what we have written so for the given number five max is 25 and uh, we had this dp with uh, six elements one two three four five six one two three four five six my bad ignore this so we will fill with the maximum integer value so everything is max integer value at this point now for i is equal to one and j is equal to one i is equal to j star j so we will go ahead and update this with one now again j is equal to two where i is less than j star z at this point we are breaking it now i becomes two j is equal to one in the first case and this is not it and i is greater than j star j so what we went is remember there is a max value here when it comes to i minus j star j it's dp of one plus one which would become two similarly when it comes to three and again j is equal to two uh, i is not equal to j star j i is not greater than j star j i is less than j star j so we break it now i is equal to three and j is equal to one again in the same case it would come here what we are doing is uh, three minus one two dp of two is two plus one which becomes three in this case and four <clears throat> again the loop breaks now i is equal to four j is equal to one all we are doing is i is not equal to j star j in this case so i greater than j star j which uh, at that point it would be dp of uh, i minus j star j which would be four minus one plus one three plus one it would become four okay it's not done yet now j becomes two i is equal to j star j so we will go ahead and replace it with one because it's a perfect square all the perfect squares are replaced with one <clears throat> now it goes to five in this case this is not the case this is not the case so what we are doing is we will perform this uh, where in this case it would become one plus one two at the end of the loop all we are doing is returning tp of n which in this case is two so this is how we perform this i hope it's clear please do like and subscribe to the channel hacker thank you for watching